demonology, many devils and demons are fallen angels. We know that in Black Clover, elves symbolize the angels, beings of light that seem to be divine. Even the elves in Norse mythology are considered a mythic parallel to angels of the Abrahamic religions. All of the high-ranking devils have elven ears. Elves already have ties to demons in the underworld. Does this mean that the devils are actually just fallen elves? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and speaking of elves, have you ever wanted to play as the elves in a very good mobile game? Because you can in Raid Shadow Legends, who has sponsored me yet again, and it does mean a lot. So, hi elves guys, they're the classic good guys, mostly. They live in their walled kingdoms of Ravia, they're easy on the eyes, their queen is a powerful sorceress, and they've been fighting evil since before that was cool. The problem is, it's not always clear whose side they're on. To find out more, you got to meet them in the story campaign. For now, here's a couple of my favorite High Elven champions. The first is Elenero, and the other one is Ethos. And not only do these two just look really cool, in fact, Ethos is my favorite character design in the game, but they also complement each other very well in battle. Now, what I really like about Raid Shadow Legends is that it's a game that has multiple ways to play. You can get on and play for like 15 minutes during the end of your lunch break, or you can find yourself playing for multiple hours on a weekend where you have nothing to do. Because you can do PvP, there's the story campaign, there's always stuff to do in this game, there's always going to be something for you to fulfill. Recently, Raid had its biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on, and it's been fun so far, and it's a huge challenge trying to beat it. On top of that, Raid has also just released a bunch of amazing new champions, and there'll be even more coming this month, and with over 500 champions in game now, trust me when I say, there's a champion for everyone. This month's absolutely stacked in terms of special events too, with a load of awesome tournaments coming up through February, along with some special Valentine's Day events. There's never been a better time to dive in and get started. Support my channel by downloading Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description and get your free Spirit Champion, 50,000 Silver, 50 Gems, 5 Mystery Shards, 1 day of XP boost, 1 Energy Refill, and 1 Clan Boss Key as soon as you get in the game. Look at this cool champion that you're going to get for free. You'll find extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. You can find me in the game under Broku72, and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. And it's that easy, all you have to do is click the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the game. Hi everybody, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to go over one of my longtime theories that the huge connection between devils and elves, and also a possible way that Asta will defeat Lucifero, the king of the devils or demon. Now, thank you guys so much for all the support. We've shot past 48,000 subscribers, and we're going to be hitting 50,000 really soon. In fact, this video, by the time it's uploaded, we might even be at 50,000, or not 50,000, probably be maybe at 49,000, but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for all the support. My goal is to hit 100,000 before the end of the year, so that'd be very much appreciated, guys. You guys have been killing the like goal, let's shoot for another 1,500 likes on this one. You know what? Let's shoot for 2,000. You guys got 2,000 in the last video. Let's get 2,000 again, because there's a lot of stuff in this, a lot of research I had to do for this video, guys. Let's shoot for 2,000 now. Also, turn on notifications, so with that being said, guys, Let's get into the video. So there's a lot of information sprinkled within the narrative and lore that devils, at least the high-ranking ones, are actually fallen elves, and that would be a parallel of symbolism to the many demons and other fictions or mythologies that are actually fallen angels. Recently in the manga, we got it revealed that how demons are created, which further proves that there's a difference between the two of demons or devils, as Zidon states that demons are created from human hatred and power from the underworld. It is easy to see that demons look incredibly different from devils, being much larger in size. We also know that they can have detached wings that float around them and give them much more power. And interestingly enough, these same portals that the wings come from look exactly like the portals that Zagred creates to summon the magic eating spell from the other world. Further showing their connection to devils. And this is something that must be brought up later as well. But well, this makes it easier to connect as to how devils are created, especially since we know that the creator of Black Clover, Tabata, is pulling from the Kabbalistic concepts of the Sephiroth and the Tree of Cliffoth. We know that he is pulling so much from these concepts, from religious and mythical concepts, because people were able to predict the first two devils that came from the underworld. One of my friends, Jack Oates, used his advanced knowledge of demonology and other myths to predict that the first two devils that would be released would be Lilith and Nama. 
and these two devils would call each other Lilith and Nama. It is his birthday at the time of me writing the script, so please go subscribe to him, check out his channel, and comment on his video, and wish him a late happy birthday. Anyways, if people can use these ancient texts to predict the future of Black Clover, like predicting the first two devils, then it's safe to say that it can be used for much further predictions as well. As to go even further, the Tree of Cliffhoff is supposed to be either the opposite or the shadow of the Tree of Life, the Sephirah, and thus, that means that the Cliffhoff devils should be the opposite of or shadows of the Apostles of Sephira, and Lilith would likely mirror Patri because their spots correspond to each other upon the different trees, and even in the myths, this is what is stated, a husk of light was created, and this husk spreads out and spawned another husk, Lilith. It makes sense now because Lilith is the shadow of Patri, who wields a light magic, and both these spots are tied to light in the Kabbalistic myths, so since we know how tied the Apostles are to that of the Cliffhoff Devils, let us all look at the Cliffhoff Devils. How do they look so far? Let's include the High Ranking Devils as well in Zagred. So, when you look at them, do you notice any similarities? All of the High Ranking Devils look humanoid, and they all have Elven Ears. At first it seemed that maybe Lucifero didn't have the Elven Ears, but it just seems that his hair might cover the ears, as when Dante uses 100% Devil Power, he has Elven Ears. Now, it is known that many Devils or Demons in the Myths are actually Fallen Angels. Elves in Norse mythology are a mythic parallel to that of the angels. In Black Clover, elves are symbolically angels, as they are divine-like beings of light who protected humanity. Tabata really portrayed the symbolism when they were <laughs> literally given angel wings. Now, angels still might be their own thing in Black Clover, as they have been referenced via this spell and by Ghosh calling Marie an angel. I wouldn't be surprised if something like the elves were just a lesser angel, and just a tier, maybe the lower tier. Like how in the myths, there are multiple tiers of angel rank. I did a whole video on this if you want to check it out. There's also something that I have created for my own universe and my own book that I am writing, which I'll talk about at some point in the future. But in my book, angels exist as divine-like powerful beings, though in reality they are actually just elven Valkyrie hybrids. Valkyrie are also a mythic parallel to angels, and in my honest opinion, if you just took the image of an elf and a Valkyrie and you fused them, they would look very angelic. So, I wonder if Tabata is maybe thinking of going the same route with angels and Black Clover as I am for my own series, but either way, I think that it is pretty heavily foreshadowed that the devils are fallen elves. We know that elves are tied to the underworld, just like the devils are, as the apostles of Sephira are the highest ranking elves that receive divine revelations from some sort of deity. The apostles of Sephira can open up the Shadow Palace, which is a magical space that borders between the real world and the underworld. The Tree of Cliffhoff is also a magic channel that connects the real world to the underworld, but vice versa. Ten Elven Apostles and ten Cliffhoff Devils. Now, the Elves have an even further connection to demons and devils, and it is a natural evolution for an Elf to transform into a Dark Elf which looks demonic. The final state of an Elf brimming over with malice is a Dark Elf. The Dark Elf will have its white skin go dark, and its magic transform into a demon variation of it. As Patri had light magic, but Dark Elf Patri had demon light magic. And it isn't just a name only, it was able to affect the magic of the other world, which essentially proves it is forbidden magic from the underworld. Now, it is a crazy coincidence that the elves have the innate ability to fall the darkness and transform into a Dark Elf, a demonic entity. Even more interesting is that the Dark Elves can also use all the Elven spells without a Grimoire, as Dark Elf Patri didn't have his Grimoire as it was taken by Zagred, except he still used all of his spells, and even his most powerful spell, the Ray of Divine Punishment. This is an ability essentially shared by Devils, as Zagred could use his powerful spells without a Grimoire, he just needed a Grimoire to bring about his full power and his body into the real world, and manifest himself. Also, it seems that the Dark Triad can use the spells from their Devils, even though the Grimoire should be only for their own respective magics of body, blood, and bone. One thing we know is that the prolonged use of Forbidden Magic will cause one to change its shape, as Sekra grew horns with the use of the Magic Stones. Maybe Dark Elves slowly morph into Devils over time, as they continue the use of their demon magic, growing horns, wings, and even a tail. Maybe they spawn something like the Ancient Demon, like they spawn those similar wings at first, eventually the wings that are basically through the Otherworld portals, and when the wings finally connect to the body of the Dark Elf, that completes the transformation from Elf to Dark Elf to Devil. This would be a way to explain them getting wings 
without them formally being angels. Now, we also know that devils are affected differently by life energy, as shown by Libe not being affected by Lasita, and Lucifero's life energy not being affected by Lasita as well, as it only was his mana that was eroding away. It is common for pale skin to be tied to death and life energy in fiction, as the skin does go pale when one dies. The devils have pale skin compared to the Dark Elves, so maybe their skin goes pale again when the life energy ability comes into effect, which would explain why their skin is pale compared to the Dark Elf. Now, Lict transforming into an ancient demon cannot be a cogent debunk to this theory, as he was stopped from transforming into a Dark Elf when Lumiere showed up, as his hope was restored, but he still did transform into an ancient demon, so that Zagreb would not get his body, so he just used a magic stone to transform into an ancient demon, whereas my theory implies that elves can turn into devils innately, first turning into a dark elf, and then that being the starting stage to becoming a devil. When combined, all these things add up, what makes it even more interesting is the fourth highest tier and the Tree of Clifoth. The three highest tiers should be Lucifero, Magicula, and Zenon's devil, which might be Satan, as Dante stated that the triad of the three highest rankers. Now, in the myths, the fourth highest level belongs to Osteroth. I think it would be far too much of a coincidence if Tabata is taking this much from the mythologies, and yet only a few gates later, we get to a devil with such a similar name to Asta. Here's what I think. We know that the final three devils will all emerge at once, and there will be one before them, one gate. I think that in that gate, there will not be a devil reveal. This is because Osteroth isn't there in the underworld. Osteroth is already here. Asta and Roth. Now, we don't know Libe's real name. Libe was his given name to him by Lasita. If Libe's real name is Roth, then a devil union would create Osteroth. And this actually makes total sense, as in the midst of the Cliff Off Tree, Osteroth is known as the Devourer of Creation. The power of anti-magic fits this description, as it devours and destroys mana, which is an energy source of creation. This also brings my Ost having star magic theory back into play, as Ostaros' symbol is a star, and even his name means star, as it derives from the Greek god Astarte. Asta's name means star, and the one shot his last name is Staria, who is a star on his headband. When he does Devil Union, his eye turns into the shape of a star. Now, people got a bit too tilted about me saying that Asta might have star magic, even though I said that more so would be like the anti magic would take on properties of star magic, and it would almost be like anti star magic or star anti magic. Asta has no mana. That doesn't mean he doesn't have a magic type. He just wouldn't know what it was, because if there is no mana, then he can't use it. Mana is like the fuel to use magic, so we don't know what Asta's magic type is, but he should logically have one, he just doesn't have the mana to use it. Asta does already do something similar to making the anti-magic take star-like similarities, as people have said he looks like a black shooting star when he's in his black form. Now, of course, shooting stars are technically not stars, but they look like stars. That's why people called them shooting stars. But it is the symbolism and the visual comparedness that matters. Anti-magic paired with star magic is the perfect theme that fits Osteroth, and the theme of the story would be absolutely insane. Dante, the man who wanted to be the king for all the wrong reasons, ashamed of his body magic, versus Asta, the kid who wanted to be the king for all the right reasons, relying on his body for all of his goals, not at all ashamed of it. Dante's devil, the fallen elf or angel that wants to destroy humanity, Libe, the ascended devil who wants to save humanity, Lucifero's gravity magic going against Osteroth's anti-star magic, Asta could still be a devil hybrid as well. Now, I made an entire video dedicated to that theory, so I suggest you watch that for a full breakdown, but another piece of evidence that I came across while making this video is that Zagred was confused on how Asta was able to use the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire. As we know, the, those are for the use of devils, but the Grimoire still chose him. Asta being a devil hybrid explains the four horns that you'd have in the Devil Union, since Leap only has two, why he's not affected by the life energy attacks like other humans, when that is an ability that only devils can do, and then the other explanations. It would be interesting if Asta also became the king of the underworld by defeating the Dark Triad's devils, and actually even makes the underworld a better place. Now, one thing that wouldn't really prove this theory or show or answer, the lesser devils, they look like beasts. Maybe that they are created by the higher ranked devils, or were their offsprings of higher ranked devils. I mean, it's pretty common in demonology and other fictions where evil entities, they mate with beasts or animals, and then those become devils. So that's what it could be. Maybe Zagrad had sex with a, with a bear or a goblin or something. I don't know. Now, there's still other questions to answer, like if this is it, then if Libe is a fallen elf at one point, who would he be? One thing I'm still thinking of maybe is he is the other twin of Lictentetia, because we know that there was a twin. 
Now, that would also make it weird, because we don't exactly know the timelines, and he was supposed to have offspring, so he should have been old enough. One of the theories that I have, maybe, is that devils work similar to Daedric Princes from Elder Scrolls, where you can kill a devil, but not, or kill a Daedric Prince, but not really. Like, you kill it, and they, like, have to go back to their realm, their, and then basically, they're almost reset with their power, and they have to go back to normal again. Because Asta killed Zagred, he was dead, and then all of a sudden, they were inside of the Grimoire Realm or whatever. Because that's what it was in the anime, it was like the Red Realm, which is where Asta talked to Libe back in the Witch's Forest, because that's where Libe is stored in the Grimoire. So, Zagred should have been dead, but then he's somehow in Libe's Grimoire, or Asta's Grimoire. So, don't really know how it works, but maybe... Libe was a, was a devil before, he had gotten up to a higher echelon of power, he was killed, and then that reset him back to as a child, where he had to regrow again and he forgot everything. Something similar to how Daedric Princes work. But, don't really know, that's still a mystery. But let me know what you guys think of this video. I think that it will be Asta Roth, maybe Roth is Libe's real name, and that they will use like an anti-star magic sort of thing. Where it's Asta's not using star magic, he is essentially using the anti-magic energy to take the properties of star magic and compare that with anti-magic. So maybe he could have like a anti-magic black hole or an anti-magic black star or something like that, or almost a bit like anti-heat because stars give off immense heat or anti-magic light because he could give off immense light. He still wouldn't be using magic, it would still be anti-magic powering it, just anti-magic taking on the properties of said magic type. Let me know your thoughts are down below, guys. Please do leave a like. 2,000 would be the goal. Subscribe. Let's get me to 50,000 first, and then let's get to that 100,000 by the end of the year. Don't forget, check out the Raid Shadow Legends link in the description below. It really helps out when they do these sponsorships. Makes it even closer to the point where I can maybe do YouTube full-time for you guys, put out more and better content. But that being said, hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus...